we begin. As you see, the bathroom is a mess. The boys are knocking on the door because they want to come and make it more of a mess. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, so let's make our way down here. Ooh, let's make our way down here because all that, we're gonna clean the basics first, then we're gonna get into the actual bathroom stuff. When I say actual bathroom stuff, I mean like makeup. All right, dirty, dirty, dirty clothes. Nobody knows how to put their clothes in a hamper here, including myself. Put that to the side. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, what do we got here? It's all going in. Crap, there's a spider. Oh, I killed it, I killed it, I killed it. Oh, now I need to pick it up because I don't like dead spiders. Oh. I'm already done. I'm already done with this. I uncovered a spider. That's why you don't leave clothes on the floor because the bugs like to burrow in there and that's their little home. And by the way, these clothes are only on the floor for like 48 hours, so it doesn't take long. I'm cringing. Okay, so we're now we're gonna do this whole thing. Let me wash my hands because I feel infected and contaminated from Killing that spider. It just feels gross. You know what? This robe needs to be washed. Yeah? That's the boys. You see, when you have kids, they don't let you clean. They don't let you do anything, which is cool. You just don't get a moment to do what you need to do unless they're sleeping. But I love them. Okay, so let's start the birth story. They're still knocking at the door. Dozens out there with them though, so they're good. So let me start with Vance. Like I have a video on Vance's birth story, or at least I did. And I mean, his like entire birth experience was super smooth. But how I knew I was going into labor with Vance is that the morning of his due date actually, I started to bleed. I know sometimes that's like a bad sign, but I don't know, for me, that's just the indication that I'm in labor because it happened again with Weston. So Weston. So for those of you who don't know, oh look, I have a farmer's tan, by the way. I'm all over the place. We went fishing and I literally have a farmer's tan. Ignore that. You know what, let's bring some hair up here. For those of you who don't know, we own a wedding videography film business. We used to do it ourselves, like Desmond and I would like video weddings and do like cinematography, it's like cinematic wedding films. And so um, we built the business so much that we were pretty much fully booked for the year, um, for a few years or a couple of years. Uh, it's not that old of a business anyways. We took weddings up until Weston's due date or around his due date. And that's because we booked those weddings before we even knew we were pregnant. So. <sighs> Long story short, um, we had one wedding that was five days before his due date. And we were like, okay, we just need to get like all these weddings. If we get to this point, this day, and get this wedding over with, we're good. Like we're, you know, we're good. We, we're, our work is done. We were taking a break for um, a few weeks after his birth, blah, 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 blah. So it comes to the day where we are at that last wedding before his due date. Let's say that day was Sunday. I don't know, I think it was actually. And we had a wedding booked. I wasn't gonna go, it was just Desmond. It was a one person wedding, one person like videographer. And the day before we're like, great, like I feel good. Like I have no indications of labor. Like we're good, like tomorrow, get tomorrow over with and all we gotta do is focus on the baby, you know? They're having fun in the background if you hear the screaming. Okay, multitask, multitask. Let me wash my brushes. I'm just gonna do what I, what I see in the camera, okay. Night before, we're like, hey, we're good. Like, look how far we made it. I'm good, I had been to my doctor's appointments, no indication of labor, no indication of birth. Like, I'm right on track. Like with Vance, I waited until his due date, gave birth on that day naturally. When I say naturally, I mean like, like not a C-section. I had an epidural, so not that natural. But I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but basically I was good. So that day came, the day that we were gonna have um, that last wedding, which was like five or six days before Weston's due date. By the way, I've been putting this on my sunburn. Maybe I should put some on right now. That morning comes, Desmond's getting his camera stuff together and he's like, hey, you know, are you good, blah, blah, blah. I get out of bed, go to the bathroom, and there you have it, blood. Which obviously like in a pregnancy, there's no blood really involved during your pregnancy. So immediately when I saw the blood, I said, oh yeah, I remember this. This is what happened when I was going into labor with Vance. I told Desmond, I said, there's blood 
and uh, <laughs> it's about to go down. <laughs> and so he got his stuff together. He put all his camera equipment in the car and we went to the hospital, which wasn't too far from us. We go to the hospital, I get checked in to the, do they call it triage? This, at this point, it's like 10 a.m. Like weddings don't start till like the afternoon usually. So we're good. And they tell me like, hey, like it's looking like you're about to be in labor or you're in or the early stages of labor. So um, yeah, prepare to stay. So I look over at Desmond knowing we have this wedding and you know, like this isn't like a graduation party or like a, a anniversary party. Party. Like this is a wedding. Like you don't just call him like, hey, I'm your wedding video and I can't make it. So I'm looking at Desmond because I'm like, you better figure this out because that's not gonna work. Like you need to be here, you know? And I'm already naturally like, I freak out anyway, like over pretty much anything and I get anxiety. So like have the idea of having him not there was like not even mentally an option for me at that moment. Like all logic went out the window and I was like, you're gonna have to stay here. And so I'm trying to figure out ways that it's gonna work out to where he can stay. We have we had a couple assistants at that time. We hit up one of them. One of them was booked for a wedding. So he was unavailable and um, another option was unavailable. And so then we got down to to our absolute last option, which didn't even feel like an option. I'll tell you why, this guy lives in a whole different state. He's not even in our state. And I said, Desmond, this is our last chance. Just text the man. And he was like, he's in a whole different state. Blah, blah, blah. Text the man if you wanna be here for this birth. He texted this guy. And this guy, like I said, is a whole state away. Like quite literally, like I don't even mean like he lives an hour away. No, this man lives in a different state. He texted the man, which is our very like awesome friend that we had met recently at that time. Like we didn't know him for too long at that time. And he texted him, he said, hey man, you know, um, my wife's in labor. So uh, we have a wedding today. Like, you think you're gonna come film it? This guy's a videographer, like he does it for a living. The guy's like, you mean uh, in your city? <laughs> Does it like, yeah. This man dropped everything he had, got in the car, got his stuff, and started jetting towards us. I want to say that drive is like six or seven hours. I really don't know. I just know it's long. It's nothing like three or four hours. Like it's a whole state away. We were relieved. We were relieved. The issue was though, cause this is nowhere close to the end of the story, by the way. So the issue was Desmond had to be at the wedding a couple hours from that time we were at the hospital. Like when we were in triage, he needed to leave soon to go to the wedding. And this guy living in a whole different state is not going to be there for the first half of the wedding. So Desmond had to go to the wedding anyway. Okay. So this is where it gets good. Desmond Desmond has to leave for this wedding and doctors are telling me, hey, like you're looking like you're about to have this baby right about now type of thing, kind of about now. I called my mom, my best friend, my family. They came to the hospital. Uh, my dad came. Um, so I had all the very, very important people with me except Desmond and you know, they check your levels while you're sitting there. So let's say Desmond got to the wedding at like one. The assistant videographer is on his way, which is let's say a six hour drive. And he's not gonna be there till five, 5 p.m. So it's 1 p.m. Nurses are telling me like, you ain't about to have this baby right now. But I know Desmond's not gonna be relieved from the wedding until 5 p.m. So I got all my people in the room with me. Nurses are saying, hey, we're checking your levels, you're dilating, blah, blah, blah. Do you want Pitocin? I think that's what it's called, Pitocin. And I have Pitocin with Vance and I know that speeds up the labor. They're just trying to get you in and out. I was not trying to get in and out. I was trying to be comfortable. So I said, I don't want the Pitocin. I don't want it. And surely enough, as much as they tried to convince me to have Pitocin, no, I didn't have it. And that ended up being really good. But then they kept checking me. My contractions started to get closer and closer together. It's about 3 p.m. at this point. I'm just trying to hold out to about 5 to 6 p.m. It's 3 p.m. at this point. They said, look, your contractions are getting so close together. It's getting intense. If you want the epidural, you're going to have to get it now because otherwise you're not going to be able to get it. It's going to be too late. I said, no, I don't want the epidural right now because I'm not, I'm not going into labor right now. I'm chilling. I'm on my phone. I'm not trying to have a baby right now. Like I'm chilling. Four o'clock. They said, last opportunity if you want the epidural. And I'm really bad with pain tolerance. Like I'm not someone who could go natural and do all that stuff. Like I can't do it. They said, last opportunity to get the epidural. I said, no, I'm okay. We can wait a little bit. My best friend looked at me and she was like, 
you're gonna get that girl. You need to calm down. You need to chill out. You put me in my place. My mom was like, absolutely not. Like, you need to get that epidural. So I let them convince me to get that. Well, if I was going to get the epidural, I needed to get it at that point. So I got it. Five o'clock. I'm texting the videographer. Hey, where you at? Where you at? He said, 45 minutes away. When I tell you I was holding on to the baby, like I, I was holding on to what? I'm like, look, you're not coming out right now. You're not coming right now. By the way, I'm not recommending this for you mom pregnant people out there because it's probably not safe. The nurses kept coming in saying, hey, look, you're getting close. I was literally pushing them away. I was like, I, I'm not doing this right now, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward, 5 p.m. Our good friend gets to the um, venue. Desmond jets off. This venue is still 45 minutes away from the hospital, so he still had to make that drive. Desmond's on the phone. He's like, look, are you are you good? Are you good? I said, Desmond, I'm literally like on the edge. I'm on the brink. The baby's gonna burst out. Like, hurry up if you wanna make it. I was holding with all my might, and when he was on the way, I finally let the doctors like check me and they said, this is happening. Desmond was like 10 minutes away. I said, it's almost happening. Not just yet, but it's almost happening. As soon as Desmond burst in the door, doctor came in, my legs went like that. Weston came out in eight minutes. Eight minutes. He came out in eight minutes. Eight. I'm not even exaggerating. Eight. Like he came out like a, like a bat. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> It says if you release the floodgates. He came out so intense, so quick. His face was so bruised because of how quick he came out. It was ridiculous. I literally was holding on to him for dear life, as far as in my belly, for dear life until Desmond got there. I mean, it was like, it was no coincidence as soon as Desmond came in, boom. The doctor, the nurse was so amazed that I was able to push through. They, I, everyone actually thought I was crazy, which I was, I definitely was, but yeah. Weston ended up being a healthy baby and a quick, <laughs> quick delivery. And I was really good that I didn't take it, but that is how Desmond pretty much almost missed the bird. And I will never forget it. I literally remember every detail like it was yesterday. It just shows you our bodies do amazing things because I don't know how I convinced my body to do that. Again, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Probably safer just to let them miss it. But that's pretty much it. And my side of the sink is pretty much clean. I have a lot of stuff. I mean, this is as good as it's gonna get. I was gonna wash my brushes, but I, I don't have the patience right now. Like I just can't, I'm kind of hungry. Okay, so I am gonna wash my brushes actually because I do have a little bit more to talk about. I know some of you guys have followed me probably since uh, my pregnancy with Weston. Most of you for sure haven't, but I'll say like both of the boys' births were so easy compared to the pregnancy. The pregnancies were really intense. And I don't know, I, I have talked about it a lot already on my Instagram, but that was like years ago before I even had even more supporters um, than I do right now. So I feel like I want to talk about that again for those of you who weren't there at the time. But let me know if you guys are even interested in it. Uh, basically, it's my pregnancy, like kind of story time, if you will, on why my pregnancies were so intense. And honestly, the reason why we only have two kids, like, and don't have more. Um, so let me know if you want me to go into that. But long story short, I had hyperemesis gravidurum, which basically means excessive throwing up. That's what that is. It's no easy thing to be honest. I could probably make a whole 20 minute video out of it. But let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in. I really need to focus on washing my brushes way more often. It's a shame how often I wash my brushes. Definitely not enough, which you would think with me being the germaphobe that I am, that I would be washing them way more than I do. It's just such a task. All right, so my brushes are clean. I'm going to let them ink dry for the night. To wash them, I, I just use these, this beauty blender, like little wash kit. And I also use um, Dr. Bronner's, Bronner's Pure Peppermint Soap. Okay, so that wraps up the end of the YouTube video. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below what other story times you want. If you wanna see more like clean with me, story time type videos, home videos, I don't know. Comment below what you guys wanna see and I'll see you guys in my next video.